Melissa Armo is standing by, founder, owner of the Stock Swoosh LLC. It is great to see you, Melissa. So often you've come on the network and in years past, you were super bullish. And over the last, you know, six months, it's been harder. And we watched a lot of the banks, for example, come out with their numbers, some of which did quite well, particularly in investment banking. Um, but you're watching Wells Fargo. Why? Well, I'm watching Wells Fargo because it had a really, really big sell-off last week on the earnings. And even though Goldman, for example, was up on the earnings, it sold off on the earnings. So if you went long it, you lost money that particular day if you traded it that way. So my general overview of the banks right now is they are trending lower. And when you have the financials trending lower, you're not going to see the, the SPY, which is ETF for the S&P, hit up over the high. Also, don't forget, the election is a couple of weeks away, less than three weeks away. So I think anyone who would go long a new position here, uh, it would be just way too risky right now going into this election period. For example, today, we have two hours, two hours and 20 minutes left in the day. I wouldn't be surprised here if we closed at the low. I would not be surprised at all if we fell for the rest of the day today. The play today was short. Last Monday on Columbus Day was the only day you could have gone long the market or strong stocks, and, and it was only for a day. You had no follow through whatsoever at all. Uh, we haven't seen any real follow through in the buying in the last uh, few weeks. In September, we had new highs. Well, it was the end of August, actually. And then September 3rd, we gapped down. We fell off. We haven't been able to get over that big red bar that happened on September 3rd in any any of the indices, the diamonds, the QQQs, or the SPY. So I think that's very problematic for the market. Now, we do have earnings season coming up, as you've been discussing, and we have some big earnings next week. But again, it's right up, right up into that election period. So even if there's some nice plays, I focus on specific plays, specific stocks right now, because unless you have 100% conviction of what you're doing in this market, like I called shorts this morning, they're all working. Unless you really, really know what you're doing and you're really a professional and expert here, I'd stay away from the market overall or anything related to the market because it has been so choppy. And again, we've gapped down, we rallied, we've gapped up, we, fought, we fell. Without good entries here, it's going to be hard to make profits in, in this market unless you really know what you're doing. So you're basically saying sit on the sidelines, don't even buy the dips. Uh, you know, you, to your point, I know that Monday we gave it a go. The rest of the week was sort of to the downside. Friday we gave it a go, but gave it back by the end of the day. So there is still this cautious tone. What if we were to get stimulus and it comes out in the next 48 hours as Pelosi and Mnuchin are working hard to do so? Would you buy then? I would have to see a huge huge, 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 huge move in the pre-market. And I don't think that's going to happen. So it could happen. Theoretically, it right. could. The only way you're going to see a big move up close to the highs. So I don't have to be over the highs, but very, very close. Like we're going to get there is with the vaccine. And even though President Trump has been discussing it, here we are getting into the end of October, the beginning of November. Could one still happen this year? Maybe the tail end of the year. But there were three trials and all of them are on hold. So again, it's pushing it to try to think that we're going to get some kind of therapeutics or a vaccine by the end of the year. And that is really, I think, what the market wants to see. Or maybe what the market even wants to see is that uh, we have less unemployment numbers each month or each week. You know, people are still filing for unemployment. And even though we've gone down, so the curve has gone like this since this was the peak of the COVID in March, and then it's down, down, down. We're still 800,000. Last week, we had more than yeah. expected. We fell. It's still way too many okay. people on unemployment. You know? Right. So um, I know you're watching IBM, which is out with its numbers today. But your takeaway here, and I want to hear your thoughts on IBM. I mean, you're basically, if we leave this interview, we say Melissa Armo basically says, don't do a thing until when? Till next year? Or until what? Well, you're talking about going long? You're saying, yeah, you're saying not to buy the dip, not to, unless you see some major move in the pre-market, you're not buying a thing. No, I would say the only time I'd see a good bullish setup was if we'd be really, really close to the highs, like 350, 356-ish, 356-ish mm -hmm. is like seeing the spy. And we're so far away from that now that I don't think we're going to get there. We might have a Christmas rally, something like that. But I'm not a person that normally buys the dips anyways. I want to see that pre-market buying. I want right. to see some follow-through. I want to see institutional money yeah. come in. Not Tell me about IBM. 
IBM, IBM, mm-hmm. the way I like that one, again, if it rolls over, IBM would have to go all the way up to 160 for me to be interested in even going along that on the day. And that's so far away. It's at run 25 and change right now. Again, I don't think that's going to happen. IBM's a better short right now than a long, even with a gap up, unless it just blows out the numbers. And there will be stocks that blow out the numbers in the next two weeks and earnings. You may have some good moves in Apple, some good moves in Microsoft, some good moves in Amazon, but I wouldn't necessarily be playing that and the market together. In other words, you may have a one day rally in the market, yeah. but it really have the playthrough so you can day trade it you can do a quick call in it as an option but to hold it hold it hold it which i know many ameritrade traders love to do they love to buy and hold buy and hold buy the dips it's not working right now october's too choppy september was bearish october is choppy and until the election i'd sit in the sidelines and kind of let it play on out into the end of the year into the christmas period really from you want to see the numbers get better on the holiday Maybe some things will change. Maybe we'll see a vaccine. Maybe we'll see their retail numbers. Maybe we'll see consumer confidence increase. Maybe we'll see a stimulus package. Things look brighter right. towards the end of the year than they do, I'd say, in the next four to six All right. weeks. You said you'd rather short it than buy it. I get it. Melissa Armo, it's nice to see you. Founder, owner, the stock swoosh. Until next time, we'll keep watching. Thank you so much, Melissa.